Yo, yo, what up guys? Back for another one here. This isn't the typical video. Um, I kinda, it's not really a sponsorship, but it's kinda like a hookup. I'm hooking you up, you hook me up, and uh, we both make a little bit of money. Sounds good, don't it? So, I know a lot of you guys out there, um, you know, race your car and stuff. And I'm sure you have an aftermarket downpipe. It's like one of the first things everybody does, um, especially if you live in a place like I do where they don't give a crap about emissions. Uh, cat's first thing, or at least a high flow cat. Now I'm catless and it's phenomenal. Sorry for anybody out there who hates that stuff. I apologize, but it sounds amazing and the car performs a lot better without the cat. Also, shout out to the homies. Anyway, so. I hit up this guy, well, I, I'm in the process of moving, let me give you the story here, I'm in the process of moving and I had uh, two exhausts sitting on the outside of the house, just laying there, I didn't know what I was going to do with them. One was from my buddy's 92 RX-7 FD and then I had my old uh, OEM downpipe and so I was like, whatever, threw this stuff in the truck along with my roommate's headers, took them down to the recycling place and I was like, you know what, I'll get maybe, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks for everything. Um, get there and they wanted to give me $35 for everything now mind you this RX-7 exhaust was heavy metal like heavy old old metal and my downplay I knew that that cat was worth at least a little bit and I didn't even realize there was two cats on the golf bar one of the the one down the line doesn't have a sensor going to it or anything but I, I for some reason just was assuming it was a resonator I didn't even think about it uh, the resonator is like you know towards the back half of the car I didn't even think about that, but when they told me I was only gonna get like $35 in haul, I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me see this cat. I looked up the part number on the cat. The cat, the whole cat back alone from VW was like $1,300, and I showed him this. He's like, well, let me text my guy. He hit up his guy, he's like, I can give you a 60 for everything. So he went up like another, what, $25 for that cat? And I was like, you know what, there's this guy, I remember on the big MQB page that had, that, that was selling cat, or buying cats from people, and with like, you just send him a picture and he responds back with how much, gives you a shipping address, and boom. So I went back and searched through the group, found him, um, and I'll show you guys here the conversation or a screenshot, whatever. Literally all you guys gotta do is take a picture of your cat. For the golf bar, like I said, there's two. You got the main one up front, like right by the turbo, and you got another one down the line. Uh, both of those together, you'll get a decent amount. And I'm not really supposed to talk prices. Hit them up. I'll tell you what they're worth. The prices are changing all the time. So if I tell you something today, next week, a month from now, a year from now, it could go up, it could go down, it could go backwards. It, it's irrelevant. You're going to get a decent amount of money for your cat either way. Um, yeah, so I kind of lucked or lost out because I didn't hit him up until after I left, not knowing that, thinking that that resonator on the exhaust, uh, or thinking that the cat on the exhaust was like a resonator or a, um, you know, whatever. So I kind of lost out there, so it was whatever. And the girlfriend was like, well, I have my old, she drives an E46 M3, and I had bought her headers last year for Christmas. And she's like, oh yeah, I have my old headers up there, and they have cats attached. Well, the other day, it was a busy day, and we wound up getting the cats cut off, and he hooked her up as well. Literally, all you do is take a picture of your cats, send it to him, I'll have his phone number, his email, and his Facebook page all down here for you to get in contact. Um, gear, make, a model, send him a picture of the number on the cat, and he'll get back to you with a price. Go and get them chopped off um, wherever. Have a buddy. Go get a sawzall. You know, whatever it is, or just send the whole thing. However you want to do it. Um, yeah. So he sends you money before you even ship them out. So he's like, "This is the money. They're, this is the amount that they're that they're worth. Do you want them? Yes, no. Say yes. PayPal you the money. Ship him the stuff like the next day." Um, she got a decent amount of money too for those two cats and she has two more in the car she wants to cut off so um, easy money especially right now with uh, all the iPhones coming out the boost with their cell from EQT uh, Black Friday coming up Cyber Monday Cyber Week everything's all messed up right now with COVID I think they're doing just Black Friday sales all month or whatever but all you got just that's all you gotta do it's easy money and uh, if you don't mind mention my name um, he's gonna hook me up for hooking you guys up, for hooking him up, you know, see it goes full circle. So I get a little bit of money going towards the build here. You guys get money for more car parts or iPhones or whatever it is that you may buy and then he's doing whatever he does with cats. I have no idea, I didn't ask. But dude's really cool, he gets back quick. Um, it's not a scammer, you can search his name. He said he's on, I think over 300 different car pages. 
and buys cats. Like I posted it up locally, and there's a guy like two hours south from here in Roswell. He's like, oh dude, I sold my cats from my 350Z to him like a year ago. And I was like, no shit. Like that's cool. Like, like it, it's not a scam. I promise it's not a scam. You're literally gonna get your money before you even ship them out. Hit them up. If you got pipes laying around, just taking up space, and you don't plan on ever putting it back on or whatever, just just do it. Why not? Help me, help you, and uh, you know, help get. Sorry, camera cut off there, but uh, you know, help me get this built a little bit further. I'm literally about to uh, start wrenching again. We're gonna get. Uh, I sprayed these down pretty good. These these guys did not want to come off, and I still feel like they do not want to come off. I might have to just destroy them to take them out. They're like. Stuck in there good, but I'm gonna get the uh, water pump thermostat housing off get this whole assembly off This is some type of uh, What you gonna call it? Can't think of the word right now this whole assembly I believe comes off as one we'll get this upper cover off I forgot to bring the tool from the other house uh, To get the crank pulley off because you gotta hold this still I like thread in here So I gotta hold it still eat this pulley off that can get this cover off um, get the fuel rail out and maybe even do the oil pan so I'm looking out for that video tomorrow oh yeah and a high pr pressure fuel pump we'll get that off maybe even take off the uh the plate here get it ready to start getting the head off and then from there i mean i got options but it's gonna be it's gonna be money to get this head, head built i got a homie up in uh colorado denver colorado um you guys might know him, Free Smoke 7R on Instagram. He might be hooking me up for, with some machine work for the head, getting it ported. He said the main thing is, is the exhaust, the exhaust port, and getting this gasket matched and ported out as much as possible. And then, you know, whatever. I, I am no machinist. I don't know tolerances and airflow dynamics. I have no idea how any of that works. But I hope to learn, and hopefully I can, like, Go up there and actually record some of this getting done and of course with boring out the block you know getting everything measured all that i have a lot of things i gotta buy like i said uh paul from shop dap has kits out for engine rebuilds with all the gaskets bolts nuts o-rings studs you know whatever you may need they got and they'll, they'll hook it up so stay tuned for tomorrow's video i'm super excited to take this head off like i'm super nervous Super nervous. I've never taken a head off on my own before. I've seen, you know, Jimmy Oaks and Adam LZ and Cletus and all those dudes do it a hundred times, but for me to actually do it, it's a big step. And I, I, I told you guys when I was taking out the motor, I, I didn't look anything up at all. Like I did that all on my own, figuring things out, and it was actually really easy. Like I came up with a plan in my head, you know, getting the wiring harness off, getting the fluid strain, you know, blah blah blah. And it was really, really simple. So I think. I mean, with the head, it's a little bit more complicated. You gotta detorque the head, I believe, in a uh, a certain what's it called sequence to let the torque off, so it doesn't like warp the head and stuff. But I got all the manuals for everything, so I'm about to sit down, look up all that stuff, and get to it. Um, and the head won't be in the next video. That'll be the video after that. Probably do that this weekend. Get a couple buddies over here. Um, and we'll check out these pistons. I actually have. A whole nother this I have a really long story about how I got a bill from Volkswagen for about eight thousand dollars but I'm not gonna let everybody just hear that so that video for by itself is gonna be um, you see that join button down there I already got a video out this for members only hit that join button and uh, next week I'll be telling you guys next Monday this Monday I'll be telling you guys a story of my eight thousand dollar bill from Volkswagen but when we pull this head off uh, well that story and this will will go together. <laughs> and for the OGs here, stay until the end. We're gonna go play with the dogs outside for a minute. You guys wanna go outside? You guys wanna play ball? You wanna go play ball, Jay Z? Let's go. Come on. Little man, slow. Come on, let's go. Come on. You don't wanna come? Get out of here. That's what I thought. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Go get it. Get the ball. Get it. Jay Z, get the ball. And he just, he just tossed the ball at me. Ready, ball? Ready? Huh? I can't film and dribble with the same hand. Ready? Get it. Good boy. Oh, you guys can't even see. Good boy. All right. Sit. Sit. Shake. High five. 
High five? All right. I cannot film with my left hand. I apologize. The little man just chases him around. Ready? Of course I say that, then he doesn't. Come on. All right. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Ready? What's up, little man? Boop. <laughs> Every time. What's up, dude? Ready? Sit. Sit. Ready? Oh, almost. Good boy. All right. Ow. Sit. Sit. Ready? Get it. <laughs> Good boy. All right. Are you the best boy? Are you the best? Look here. Let him, let him see your eye. Cute boy. God, I love you. You're so beautiful. Little man's not ready yet. I try to get him to chase the ball around. He just looks at me like I'm crazy. What are you doing, Apex? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, dude? You're such a cute little boy. I'm a good boy. Ready? Ready? Good boy. Ready? All right. I didn't wore him out earlier. He's being a little slow. I'm wearing my arm out. Oh, drop. Drop it. Sit. Ready? <laughs> Good boy. All right. You want to say bye to the people? Tell them to subscribe and like this video. Yeah? All right, guys. I'll see you. Thanks for watching.